this fine display of ultra instinct. Weave, 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 weave. Bro look like he fighting for his life swinging that fat ass sword. What it is guys, it's your boy Blasphemous HD and today we are here to check out a video you guys have been sending me in the DMs of Discord. Talking about none other than the brand new CJ the Champ video. Anos the demon of riz now if you guys already have it make sure to check out the music video that i finally was able to get done and that's where the patreon comes in now if you guys want to donate to the patreon so i can make all of these crazy insane and lovely music videos the links in the description down below let's do this last time on black air force energy z the new round table has been under construction for over several months. And that nigga CJ was stuck in a box. But now, today, the new round table has been completed. And the judge is back. And with a demonic new contestant on the horizon. Will this absolute disrespectful risk God make the new table? Find out today on. Ha <laughs> ha! The Demon King of Riz, and off Boldy Gold. Never heard of huh? him. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Alrighty now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand what the hell is going on or who even the hell is this nigga if you haven't seen the show, allow me, thy poet, to explain. <clears throat> Disclaimer. This is a parody, so do not take anything this nigga says seriously. He is not Shakespeare. 2,000 years ago, there was a nigga so dastardly and disgusting that he was feared by all. He made all the hoes quake in the nigga's bow. Humans died. <laughs> as the spirits burned in their force pride. He even made the gods shit themselves. But most importantly, his riz was absolute. Nobody in the land could fuck with this nigga. Well, I mean, until he died. But he died for the sake of peace and prosperity as he let himself get shnagada by this generic JRPG Final Fantasy looking ass hero. This nigga dead ass looks like a male version of Saber. And he died just to get reincarnated 2,000 years later. And I mean, right when he got reincarnated, the man already started talking. Bro just came out the womb and his parents like, oh my God, honey, what should we name him? <laughs> I don't know. Tom, Bob, Billy Joe, Cletus. Goo Goo Gaga, the Demon King has returned. Anos Voldigold. What the fuck? And yeah, uh, this man had one of the quickest childhoods I've ever seen. Bro went through puberty in a month. Diapers to boxers, nigga. I guarantee you his parents was not happy having to spend all that damn money. Nigga went up a shirt size each week. So Anos decides to enroll in the Demon King Academy. But I mean, he's already technically the Demon King, but uh, nobody knows. So dude is basically going to his own school. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I would like us to observe this situation with this shy looking timid anime girl. So as we can see, she is walking, minding her own business until these dickheads bump in there. And with only being a month old, our main character is already on the prowl. <laughs> Now let's see here. Is your name by any chance Misha Necron? Oh, yes. <laughs> you drop this. Make sure to hold on to it tight now. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, future baby mama number one has already been secured. And I say number one because this man is going to build an entire roster. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on this dumbass nigga right here. Supporting character 754, AKA code for, I don't know who the fuck this nigga is. All you gotta know is that this man is a victim of probably one of the worst violations of all time. Now as honest as parents are cheering him on because there's some great parents, homie right here got a problem with it because because he's probably fatherless and his mother doesn't love him. So he out here talking like, hey, couldn't it be me bringing my pants to the entrance exam? Now as his pompous ass looks for validation, Anos walks right past him and his L ego is shattered. So bro's like, hey dude, what the fuck? I'm talking to you, hey! 
Excuse me, Bo. Why should I speak to a lowly background character like you? Your magical presence was so weak, I didn't even know you were there. Now, as Anos continues to shatter this man's ego, Bro starts to get in his feelings and starts saying that he is going to fry him and his new profound baby mama. But little did he know he was about to get absolutely embarrassed. As Anos casually takes a breath and blows out his Bro. royal flame that he was hyping up for like two minutes straight. So Dog is bamboozled. He like, Nani the fuck? What blasphemy did you just do? Oh, I just simply blew out that little match of yours. You know you shouldn't play with shit like that. You know that's a fire hazard, right? <sighs> you dirty muggle, why I oughta... Shut up. <laughs> what is happening to me? My booty cheeks are clenched. Is that really all it took for you to shut the fuck up? <laughs> Lame ass nigga. <laughs> Mama, help me. I've dealt with so many of these complete hand jobs of men and all you have to do to attract the disrespect or the insults of one of these type of niggas is be happy around them. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And Lord have mercy, look at that. Bro gave that nigga diarrhea. But no, you see, Anos was just getting started with bro. Because boy, oh boy, this got astronomically worse. Because later on at the entrance exam, Anos has to fight, guess who? You guessed it, supporting character 754. And for some reason, this delusional ass nigga is still talking shit. So he start hyping himself up. He pull out this sword and he like, flame on. With this magical sword my family has had for over several decades, I'm going to cook your ass and make you well done. As this amplifies my power 10 times. 10? <laughs> Nigga, you must not be good at math. So this man runs at Anos, but he blows out his flame again, then points at him and says, Hey, bruh, your sword is fake as fuck. Your family must have got that on resale or something, because y'all niggas got scammed. Where y'all get that hoe from, StockX? Goodwill? Matter of fact, nigga, we shouldn't even be facing each other right now. So I'm going to make a deal with you. I will not move from this spot for the rest of the fight. I will fuck you up just by standing here. So obviously, this man thinks he's bluffing. But this is when this fight just got absolutely ridiculous. Because bro ends up coughing up blood and dog is bamboozled. He's like, oh, fuck, what'd you do to me? Do you hear that? I'm talking about my heartbeat. So bro just starts getting fucked up by his own heartbeat. This man is basically getting faded by this man just existing. So Anos turn around and he's like, all right, buddy, just give it up, you're trash. But for some reason, this delusional ass idiot is still talking and saying, <laughs> fuck you, nigga. I know what you're doing. You're using compulsion magic. <laughs> you're a fraud. Shut your dumb ass up. Okay, then, fine. You don't want me to use compulsion magic? I won't. I will make you surrender right here and right now. And you know what? If I don't, I'll forfeit. <laughs> make a contract, nigga. Say less. <laughs> you idiot. Now what are you gonna... Huh? Ooh, my bad. And I meant to hold back. Yeah, bro. This man just... And I'll snap this nigga out of existence. It, th this is preposterous. Some goddamn tomfoolery. Oh, but it's not over. He resurrects this man and tells him, oh, so you didn't think you would die more than once in your lifetime, did you? You see, buddy, the balls I got on me are dragon. And I'm gonna be dragging these balls across your face until you can see. Now, come on now, big boy. I can do this shit all. where I think he killed this man about a good 10 times. And he was lecturing him on how his technique works each time he killed him. So it got to the point homeboy just fell down to his knees and he just gave up. And he was like, ah, good. Just one more for good measure though. So after this man finishes violating supporting character 754, the Demon King of Riz strikes once more. So old girl was standing right outside waiting for this man. So he walks up to her, wastes absolutely no time and says, Hey, so listen, you try to go back to the crib? Um, you mean your house? Uh, duh, nigga. Go on. Grab my hand. Um, are you?
you sure we're not moving a little too fast? <laughs> fast my ass. You about to be the Demon King baby mama. So this man fast travels to his house and just absolutely secures the bag. Look at this nigga's parents. They already happy as hell. This man's dad's like, hey, the boy's son, W fucking Riz. But I ain't gonna lie, the mama started interrogating. She was like, oh my gosh, look at y'all. Y'all make such a happy, cute looking couple. But let me go ahead and make this clear, honey. If you wrong my son in any type of way, I'll beat your motherfucking ass and send your ass back to Kingdom Come, ho. You hear me, boo-boo? Um, yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, that is so wonderful. I wish you all the best. Hey, that be mom for real, though. But anyways, while Anos is being a gentleman and walking her home, they end up getting trapped by this pointy-eared Count Dracula-looking motherfucker. And get oh. this. This is supporting character 754's brother. Bro of course. had to call yeah. his brother to run Anos' pockets. I've dealt with this a good amount of times as well. But luckily, three dudes who can't fight isn't much better than one dude who can't fight. <laughs> So obviously he looking all snarky and shit. So Anos is like, ah, oh, trash ass nigga from before that I violated and I still don't know your name. So you had to get your zesty ass looking brother and a bunch of other niggas to come jump me. Yeah, that's right, me. My brother gonna fuck you up. But then his brother grabs him and start cussing him out and saying, Hey, shut your stupid ass up, dumbass, trash ass, stupid ass nigga. Hey, 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 bro, what you mean? Fuck you, nigga. You an embarrassment to our hood. I kill your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you just fried your own brother. <laughs> Shut your muggle face, you half-blood bastard. We royal bloods have no time for trash-ass niggas. Now prepare to be jumped. So while they charging up all their spells, Anno starts overheating their magic, and it just makes half of them just blow up. So Dog starts hyping up this new spell called Origin Magic. So he hits Anos with this, but that boy ain't even move. Then Anos start telling him, my God, buddy, you are a dumbass. No way you just use Origin Magic on the Demon King. I mean, <laughs> I created that spell. Huh? Preposterous. You're no damn Demon King muggle. So at this point, Anos is tired of it. So he resurrects his brother as a zombie. And he's like, come on now. Acknowledge your brother. Show me some brotherly love, nigga. So the brother ends up jumping up and frying him. And then this man, Anos, is just looking at they burnt corpse like, wow, y'all are trash. So after the fight, he ends up resurrecting them. And they like, oh. Who are you? Who am I, you ask? Listen closely. I'm the baddest, sexiest, and the most dastardly in the land. All the hosts drop to their knees when they hear my name. I'm the ultimate Sigma male, the Demon King of Rez, Anos Vodigold. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as we can see, this man needs to be stopped. But this man just started to get even more OD. On the first day in school, he already walked around like he owned the place. But I mean, he technically does own the place, but... Look at him enter the classroom on the first day of school. Bruh, like... Ah, oh, greetings, niggas and bitches. I, Anos Vodigold, will be taking over this entire fucking class. And if you defy me, I'll fucking kill you. Yo, who is this corny ass nigga? Ugh, girl, he must be one of them weird niggas that watch that anime shit. Ugh, tough crowd. Ah, baby mama number one, my mademoiselle. How are you doing this fine morning? Um, why is everybody staring at me right now? Um, I think they think you're weird. What? But I'm the Demon King of Riz. Impossible. So well, then he asked Misha, yo, what is the Demon King's name? And she says, Avos Del Hevia. So Anos ends up realizing that somebody done fucked with his name and there is a fraud ass Demon King out there. So in this exhibit, we will be focusing on four people that got absolutely violated. Sasha, AKA baby mama number two, the teacher, Amelia. Who I she need to be baby mama number three. Teachers be throwing that ass in a circle. I'm even gonna lie to you, she probably got the worst out of anybody in this show. This nigga that looks like the Grim Reaper. This old ass man right here. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna add this one too. This nigga because he got his ass with, with a stick. So let's start off with Sasha. So they end up having to have this team competition. And nobody wants to join Anos' team but Misha. Because everybody else thinks Anos is a fraud. So she walk over acting all high and mighty like, oh wow, looks like you only have one teammate. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't shit. Oh, and of course, it's my defective fraud of a sister. Shorty, if you don't put a Tic Tac in that hot ass mouth of yours. Um, excuse me? So she starts using these things called Eyes of Destruction to try to intimidate him and sh but nothing happens. So I 
Thanos gets up, pulls a Uno reverse card, uses her technique on her, gets up in her face and says, oh, so you thought you were special as shit. Girl, bye, you don't shut the fuck up and sit down and make sure you grab a Tic Tac on the way back with that hot ass breath. Ugh, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> She's totally into me. So the next day, they end up having a duel. And if Anos wins, she has to join his harem. So they start and Anos, being Anos, decided to get mad, disrespectful, and to start flexing on these hoes. So he teleports in front of her team's castle, walks up to it, takes a look, and says, hmm, this looks pretty light. So this man picks up the castle and throws that bitch. Oh, hell nah, bruh. Nah, this is absurd. I've never seen somebody pick up goddamn Cinderella's castle and just chuck that motherfucker. Oh, no, 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 but he was not done. This nigga decided to turn into a Harlem Globetrotter. The castle comes down and he starts spinning that hole on his finger. Then he decided to become Tom Brady. He shoots that hole about 50 fucking yards on 4th and 20. Nope, nope, we're done. I'm ending this trial early. Sit the fuck down. Have a great day, everybody. Jesus, <laughs> okay, let me calm down, bro. I had to take a breather. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> okay, uh, okay, bro. Long story short, he beat the fuck out these niggas. So look at them. They're trying to do one last effort. Sasha's like, okay, everybody, we're gonna use Geo Graze, the strongest fire spell in the world. We're gonna show this corny ass nigga who the fuck we are. But ma'am, he just threw us like a rat dog. The fuck? are we supposed to do about that shut the fuck up limp dick get the charging so then oh. they start charging up this big ass fireball that should look like a supernova and bro's just looking at it like good teamwork i should reward you for that so bro shoots a death beam at it cancels out the supernova and he hit they sorry asses with a <laughs> Now, you see, what he already just did was ridiculous, but it's more ridiculous what he says after it. So she's like, I can't believe your Geo Grays is stronger than ours. And this nigga says, Geo Grays? <laughs> Shorty, that was just a level one fire spell. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Anyways, uh, welcome to the harem, baby mama number two. Later. Oh my. Da, 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 da. Pregnant. That's how we do in the hood. We don't die. We <clears throat> multiply. <laughs> Has already brought home a second fucking baby mama. Son, if you don't calm down, you're gonna be the next Nick Cannon. And look at Sasha, bro. She gonna make her status known in this harem. She already kissed on and shit. And then the next day, she already done changed her seat in class. Shorty folded faster than a lawn chair. The switch up is crazy. But anyways, bro, next up on this list to get violated is Ivis the skull looking nigga. So this guy's one of the seven demon elders that Arnold's created. But bro has no idea who he is because somebody messed with his memories. So later on, while they're having this exam, after Anos had to put Sasha in check after trying to betray him and shit. This man comes from the top rope and shakes him right in the chest. So then this deathly ass nigga starts saying, huh, Foolish boy, let me tell you something, dumbass nigga. Those two sister baby mamas of yours, they will be used to awaken my master. <laughs> dumbass nigga, newsflash, I'm already back. So bro says, move, bitch. Then he takes the sword out of his chest and chucks it at this man's face. Bro blastered his ass on the wall. But lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, it is about to get even more ridiculous than this. This nigga fights the god of time. I beg your pardon? Time decided to fuse with Grimm so he could stop Misha and Sasha from changing their fate. So this man stabs him in the back with this fat ass fishing hook. So he start gloating on how we killed him and shit. He like, huh, dumbass nigga, you ain't the demon king of shit. Oh, what the fuck? Uh... Wait, what? How are you alive? I just fucking killed you. You think simply killing me is gonna stop me? Wh what? This scoliosis looking ass brother has fallen victim to plot armor. All right, next up, the most satisfying one, Amelia. Now, question. Have you ever had that one teacher in your life that just hates you for absolutely no apparent reason? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Amelia. This bitch gotta be Mr. Crocker's daughter or some shit. This nigga probably reproduced with Miss Fowl, the old bitch from Jimmy Neutron with that fat ass honker of a nose. But nah, this lady was out to get on us every single day. Not to mention that she is also a racist. Shawty hate them damn half-bloods. But nah, as I said, she was out to get on us from the jump. 
Now they just took this exam and brought back this sacred scepter, right? So this should give him a hundred. You know what Shawnee said? Ugh, muggle, that's a zero. Oh, hell no. So apparently she says it was missing. But this man, Arnold's like, nah, I turned my shit on time, bitch. So somebody must have stole it. So he walked down the bro right here and he like, hey, what you got in your pocket, little nigga? So dog pulls oh, the scepter out of his chest. Oh. Then he walk up to Shotty and tell her, next time you want somebody to steal my shit, make sure they good at it. Stupid ass thought. Tell him shoot her in the face, bitch, I hate that. Yeah. But nah, it just got worse for Amelia from here. So they end up having this magical sword tournament. So he ends up fighting her brother. So Bo's like, my apologies for coming in so late. So allow me to make up the time by whooping your ass in under a minute. And with that, he did. While he had his club of fangirls singing along to it. They said, let's sing his fight song while he whoops this nigga's ass. Look at his fine display of ultra instinct. Weave. Weave, weave, weave. Bro look like he fighting for his life swinging that fat ass sword. Look at his attack coming. Bro said, counter. Then he started hitting him with the. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, another victory for Arnold's Boldy Gold. And another victim with the case of diarrhea. So this even set Amelia more off the deep end. Cause dog just violated her brother while he had his fangirls singing a fight song for him. So she decided to commit one of the most despicable acts a human could ever commit. Something so immoral that it will have me boxing. Going after another man's mother. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Shawty decided to run up on this man's mama. Oh, great nah, this is the lowest you could ever fall. You do this to my mama, I'm John Morant in your ass. Look at this nah. girl. She didn't already gave this lady a sprained ankle. And she said, you know what? I might as well fry your fangirls too. Look how she doing them. Shawty hit him with the <laughs> dirty muscle. Ah! I said, you have bloods back to the streets. So after she turned his fan club into some burnt ass filet mignon, she about to kill his mama, but Otto's come in and stop her. So we start off with a signature booty squeeze. Bruh said, shut up. <laughs> so while he got her restrained, the demon king of red strikes again. Dog like, <laughs> thank y'all very much. With the loyalty and bravery you showed me today, I will make y'all all honorary baby mamas. <laughs> Oh my God, there goes my son again. Gotta get them all pregnant. That's how you do it. But oh boy. <laughs> this man, Arnold, was not happy at all. Bro was ready to spin the block. Dog walked up to her and said, oh, so you wanna fuck with my mama then? I didn't your old stankin' boo that bitch. So bro start choking her. He teleported to the arena, throw her ass on the ground, and he shot a sword in her back. And bro like, congratulations, the Demon King of Riz has blown out your back. You should feel honored. Now acknowledge me as the Demon King, then you have my permission to die. <laughs> you have El Riz, nigga! I ain't playing games with you, how? You're the Demon King, you're the Demon King! Give me Riz! Give me Riz! Ah! Not buying it. So go kill her! And then bring her back and then keep killing her. It's the only way. But nah, to add more salt on the womb, he resurrects her there we go. Up booty naked. There we and he go. tells her, yeah. how does it feel to be a muggle hybrid? Bro resurrected her and made her a hybrid. This man not only killed her, he ruined her life. And she can't even off herself because he put a curse on her. He made her an immortal hybrid. Mm -hmm. Oh! In the streets, did she emerge into the streets? She shall return. Latum. All right, next up, I ain't gonna lie, this one gonna be fast. The old head. So Arnold ends up helping out Lay, who earlier he beat in a sword fight with a stick. Burr really beat this man with a stick. You know, this reminds me of when Goku fought trunks with his finger. But anyways, this old head is being controlled by the fraud demon king. And he is also one of the seven elders. So this man, Arnold's wasted no time. Look at this, the old head tried to escape. Dude like, it's time for me to make my great escape. Until we meet again. Oh, God damn! Burr really cut off his legs and stabbed him in the head. Lord have mercy. Not even the fusion of Gandalf and Dumbledore can stop this man. Oh, no. Sin. The last one. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the last exhibit with this OP, unpatched, disrespectful ass nigga. And that is him turning heroes into yeah, zeros. Because yeah, yeah. he made these Hero Academy niggas look straight trash, hot garbage. But let me give you some context real quick. So they end up having an inner academy exam with the Hero Academy. And y'all remember Saber from Wish that stabbed Anos earlier? Yeah, uh, apparently Bro got reincarnated into like four other people. So the first two that we end up meeting, we got Uryu from Wish and this big ass wide body ass nigga who wanted to smoke the moment he got there. Bro already started running at him and threw a Hadouken. But dog ends up flying back. Why this man Arnold's just standing there? That man did a jeering impersonation. So this man is perplexed. He's like, hey, hey bro, what the fuck you just do to me? I blinked, trash ass nigga. Now fuck out my what? face, you dumbass fraud. So later on, we uh -huh. finally get to the battles. So the Hero Academy already talking mad crazy. They teach her like, just to let you know, we will be sending out our elite class. So I hope your starting lineup can cook. So meanwhile, while they're trying to figure out they starting lineup, this man Arnold's just go ahead and say, hey, listen, my five can cook. All y'all niggas is trash. Huh? Fuck you say, man. So then this pompous ass comes up and says, how dare you speak to us like that, you pompous muggle? We will be the starting lineup, you three-fifths of a citizen. I mean, okay. I mean, if y'all get cooked, it ain't on me. And ladies and gentlemen, them niggas got cooked. Absolutely violated. It got to the point I know's had to save they sorry asses. So after you get him out the water, bro walk over to him and say, hey, bro, you good? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Th th this is your fault. Um, aren't you the one that said you was gonna go out there and cook them niggas? Look, bro, you got your ass beat so bad, you making your teacher cry. <sighs> okay, bro, fuck, I'm fucking trash. Well, I mean, at least you admitted it, goofy ass nigga. So they end up figuring out that the heroes have mixed holy water in the lake. And I mean, y'all should know what holy water does to demons. But again, this man, Anos, was not phased. And this man was about to commit a mass amount of property damage. So this little Hello. idiot right here ends up saying, you guys can complain about our holy water all you want, but it's going nowhere. Huh, <laughs> who decided that? <laughs> who do you think you are, Escanor? You're just gonna blow up the lake? <laughs> Precisely. Don't you hear the trap, Freeman? This motherfucker just blew up a entire lake filled with holy water. So after he blows up the lake, they start scrapping with the heroes. So Anno starts fighting all the four reincarnations at once. So they try to chain him up. Bro looked at him and said, get that shit off me. So he ends up blowing them all up so he could spread them out. So then he starts to get double teamed by Uryu and this emotionless ass little girl. So he grabs her sword, slams her on the ground. Bro try to come from behind. Nigga said, sit your dumb ass down. So they is getting dog walked so bad. They had to turn into Goku. Niggas pulled out the, give me your energy. So they started making a spirit bomb. Well, not a spirit bomb, kind of like what Trunks did. But anyways, they keep on attacking them and it ain't doing jack shit. So then Ano starts doing the exact same thing. But obviously bootleg Uryu like, huh, we have the support of 10 million people. The fuck is your lame ass gonna do? 10 million, huh, I only need my fan club. Fan girls, can you hear me? Um, yes, me lord. Sing. Sing for your king. You never sing it. So they start singing for this man, and bro becomes even more OD. This nigga is cracked. And bro hits him with the never me. <laughs> So this man is so confused. He is like, yo, what the fuck is going on? How are these girls overpowering 10 million people? Simple. They just love me more than your 10 million people. These hoes will love me to the day I die. Oh, yo, that's some real shit. Getting loved on by some hoes, man. Well, not even getting loved on, like getting sat on. I mean, like, they love you. Like, they really respect and love you. Like, that stuff goes a long way. But Anos was not done with the Hero Academy yet. Next, he went to go fuck up their teacher. After bro did some questionable things to Misha. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? So Anos hit that man with that force pool. This nigga playing Forced Unleashed. And apparently, the teacher was some ugly ass devil the whole time. So he just went ahead and off him. 
So then the demon king of Riz ends up meeting his next baby mama. And he also decided to be the father that steps up. Cause shorty got like 2,000 something kids. And she also 2,000 years old. This nigga's a myth hunter now. So we have now finally reached the end of the road. So how do we end this off with a bang? By fighting a fucking Megazord. Morphin time. Okay, 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 listen, listen. Okay, so apparently plot twist. Remember early in the video when I said there was a fraud demon king out there? Yeah, it was this nigga. And bro was also the reincarnation of Saber from Wish. I ain't gonna lie, I do not know how to explain this. You're gonna have to go watch the show yourself, but uh, I'm not gonna break off that nigga though. He basically also killed this man like six times. And they team up to fight this fat ass Megazord. Nigga, this is Power Rangers. So apparently this dude of the Megazord is a old bitter ass man. Cause Arnold's beat his ass like 2000 years ago. Also demons killed his family. So the old head was trying to get his get back. But now nah, bro got messed up badly by this ultimate tag team. Look at the old nigga. He like, oh, his wrist is too strong. And with that, the Demon King of Riz has claimed his spot with relative ease. And even though his new season is on hiatus, the Demon King of Riz will return. With the round table finally now back in full swing and multiple new contestants on the horizon, who will prevail? Who will fail? Who is on the hot seat? And who will ultimately get the boot? All that and more on this new season of Black Air Force Energy Z. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for sending me this mug and the DMs of the Discord. Make sure to comment, like, and no subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD Twism.